Today's lesson will introduce anti-commutators. So we'll look at the anti-commutator of two operators, A and B, and these could be matrices. In a more advanced example, they could be operators on a Hilbert space, and there are other examples too. So let's look at the definition of the anti-commutator. It's written using this curly bracket notation, A comma B, and it's equal to just the sum of A times b plus b times a. And we should contrast this with the definition of the commutator. So remember that the commutator of two operators a and b, which is written using a square bracket notation, is just the difference of a times b minus b times a. So the main difference between commutators and anti-commutators is the sign here in the middle. We use a plus sign for anti-commutators and a minus sign for commutators. So where in math and physics do you encounter anti-commutators? Well in math, one of the main areas is called Clifford algebras. And in physics, many of the examples are related to Clifford algebras in math, and you find anti-commutators in the Dirac equation, and more generally, anytime you're dealing with fermions, which are a type of elementary particle. So to finish this lesson, I just want to show you an interesting example of an anti-commutator. So we'll look at an example with matrices. And for this example, I'll take A to be the 2 by 2 matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1, and B to be the 2 by 2 matrix 0, 1, 1, 0. And we can compute their matrix products using the rules of matrix multiplication. You can check it at home, and you'll find that A times B is equal to 0, 1, minus 1, 0. But B times A is equal to 0, minus 1, 1, 0. So now if we compute the anti-commutator, which remember is just the, the sum a times b plus b times a. We actually find that it's zero. It's the matrix of all zeros. So it vanishes. So it's quite interesting that we can add two matrix products that are not themselves zero, but end up with something that's zero. So that's an interesting example of an anti-commutator. And that's the end of this lesson.